Hello folks, welcome back. Um, just show you the, the system I use uh, when I want to take off the old um, toilet seat off the toilet bowl. Um, depends the type of toilet seat you've got in up at a lot of my this this model, this, this design. So first of all, we'll do it backwards. We'll go for a new one I have here, right? And I'll show you how I assemble it. So, if I turn over for a second. Do you like my workbench, by the way? That's the good ladies. I'll hold it in a bit. So, we have one bolt which we screw on here, if you can observe that. That's one. You can see the other thing. The bolt will screw on. Now, next we put on this protective piece which will protect the porcelain from the metal. So I've got these two metal bolts and we've screwed them in. But that's not too difficult. There's now three parts left for this one. So using this ironing board or workbench or whatever Let's put these in here. Now I tell you what we'll do. <laughs> if you didn't know, know it's a deliberate mistake, we'll turn it over. <laughs> and uh, I assume you haven't noticed a deliberate mistake. Now we put these in. Okay. Now that's then been put into the cameraman's laugh and stop it. That's this put into the two holes at the back of the toilet bowl when you've taken the other one out. But it's getting the other one out this we subject is something we're really discussing here. But let's um, assemble this fresh one. One washer, a security washer, like so, and then the wing nut. Now you remember when I screwed those bolts in. They screwed in about 5 millimetres, and that's what I want you to remember as we put this together. As I say, I know there's are plenty of uh, more efficient ways of doing this, but this way doesn't require any muscle. It needs a bit of time and patience. So we screw the wing up to tighten this one up. Right? La 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 la. So you can see that. Tighten this up. So there we go. Now, being fairly new, we can tighten up pretty well, just using your fingers. And as I say, just like working the back of the toilet bowl, you've not much room to move, but you can finger take these, and that's good, that's that one. So let's do the other one. Watch it. As I said, this is a new one. And that washer as well. We'll have instructions here, which I'm not looking at. You know, you don't bother with instructions, my goodness. Yeah. And on goes this one again. Same procedure. You can use your fingers on this wing nut to tighten up. We've got a long way to go. But we'll go that distance anyway to tighten up. Now we're not really as instance concerned about putting this new one on because this is all you would do and it's quite straightforward. I hope you can see that okay, it's still just taking the wind up. Um, it's quite a bit of travel, it's got quite a bit of travel before it bites, but here we go. Ah, you can't miss. Oh. There we go. So that's it baking now. 
For the sake of this demonstration, that's tight enough. But you could get a lot more tighter. Um, right? So it's on. We can lift up the hole. But we're going to lift up the washing board. That's it secured on. You got an idea? There we are. So that's the new one on. But the thing, the point I want to make here, to those who may be of interest, it's taking the old one off. You can back to this one, say in five years or something like that. Something like that. And this is now the old one. And you reach under to unscrew the nut. But you can't do it because it's now heavily corroded to such a level, it's almost as if it was welded on to the wing nut there. You know, see, you can't get it turned, you can't get it off. It's stuck, you don't know, how do we get this off? Do we use a hacksaw to get up high above the wing nut, hack your way through it? Well, that'll take a bit of time. Long those pliers perhaps underneath to try and get a bit of leverage to start unscrewing the wing nut. Well, while I labour this point, going on about it, here we are, five, ten years later, we can't budge the wing nut. But remember, when we screwed the bolt in, we screwed it into about five millimetres. So let's just go for the bolt and unscrew the bolt. But obviously, we don't have the strength perhaps to do that. So we use a monkey wrench. This is actually rather a big model, a big one to use. But I'll do it for the purpose. And what we do, excuse me a second, I need to get more space, which you can't do, remember, when you're working down the back, you use a smaller monkey wrench. But you get a monkey wrench around, you may have to feel to put it on, right? And we clamp the monkey wrench on, not too hard, don't destroy it. Now, maybe first of all, just a wee sugar, slacken it off, the corrosion, if you break the corrosion down a bit. Because the corrosion and the rest of it is all more or less welded. Now remember to turn anti-clockwise. And we start turning. Nice and easy to get it going. Remember it's badly rusted. And round we go. And we unclip it. Because we can't get right round, we're so stuck for space. In this instance I could just whirl it right round. But we'll go through the laborious part that we'd have to do if we were working behind. So let's clamp on again. Not too tightly, and let's keep shuggling it round nicely. I don't know the English for shuggle, right? I only go as far as the round. So that's two, two turns. You might not even, you may have to do six turns, maybe more turns if you really can find for space. If you can find for space, you certainly don't want a monkey wrench as big as this, smaller than I do the job. Because you've got you might have the muscle, but you now have colossal leverage to lever that way. No muscle required now, and it's coming out. But slowly, as I said, patience, you would too tight that maybe, that would be that tight. So, clamp on again. Now you see, you stand up, oh, there we are. And off comes the bolt, the one nut, and all. And that's it. It's off. If you were to do the same with the other one, five, ten years on, which we're not at the moment, therefore we could just unwind it, right? By hand. Which we could do with an old one, but we can do it with the natural fact, I'll just take this straight down. Take off. I'll be using the monkey wrench in this one as well, remember, five years on. But we can use the wing nut here to slide and tighten it. So the objective here, ladies and gentlemen, was to show how I would take a heavily corroded toilet seat off and throw it away, what are you going to do with it? As I said, this is a new one. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much.